Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind me is the new Golf 8. This is the style package. We're gonna do in-depth review, exterior, interior, all the functionalities, infotainment. Finally, it's here in Croatia, so I can do in-depth review for you. If you already haven't, subscribe to this channel, click the little bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. And there's gonna be a point of view driving uh, in a week next week. I'm gonna do a test uh, drive in a test car, so. Uh, leave your comments below what do you think about the car and give this video a thumbs up it always helps a lot so let's jump into the review okay so here's a look of the new golf 8 and this is the key so this is the new golf 8 pretty simple key you have a really piano finish i'm not sure how long is that going to stay without scratches uh, i believe there is a physical key here as you can see here uh, and the uh, ring for the keychain but it's pretty simple you can unlock the car the leds turn on these are the matrix led lights and then you can pop the rear trunk or unlock the car the mirrors fold and unfold so i'm gonna put the key in my pocket because it's wireless and i'm gonna come closer so this is the black color obviously and this is the um, style package so it's a little bit it's the higher package we have only two packages now the uh, life and the style and later they're going to be the gt uh, version performance cars so what i personally like in the black color because this tips here you get in color below the chrome i mean above the chrome so it kind of looks better in black i'm gonna show you another car see i'm not close the car locked itself uh, anyway, continue on. So a little intake on the bottom, virtually almost no intake on the top. Uh, the GTI version is gonna get connected LED light. This just has the dynamic turn signals and the first X. Uh, so this one has the ambient light below. I'm really, I wish it had both of the interior lights, like the inner lights. Uh, ambient LED lights but just, this is just my design preference but really it's Golf 8 is a new elegant car so if we move to the side here we have, we have more space you can see the bonnet is going really low uh, flat design for better aerodynamics and these are the IQ lights so these are the matrix uh, you can get, get base LED lights uh, some sort of middle LED lights with the daytime running lights and then the IQ matrix uh, lights if I'm not mistaken so this is not glossy you got a little chrome detail and as you can see there's no air intake for cooling the brakes anymore new research says that this air that's exiting on the side is creating more drag so that's the reason why this is closed front parking sensors are standard in style package here in Croatia now we have here elegant 18 inch alley wheels, 17 are standard in the style package or 16 in the uh, life. In the style you get this chrome uh, with the style leathers and you get the chrome bottom line on the windows. This car has optional tinted windows. The mirrors fold uh, upwards. So if I unlock the car, 
again. They unfold. Oops. I was pressing twice, that's why it stopped. So this is the new mirror. LED lights, I mean LED turn signals or blinkers, whatever you call it. You can still see it from the driver's perspective. And what's interesting, on the bottom over here, you have a small light that projects, you can see that, uh, projects this. So it's pretty neat. Comes in both packages. And there's some more here, uh, aerodynamic uh, textures. So the car is really elegant if I back up from the side. If I put a camera in the level. So the new badge also has a adaptive radar behind it. And now I have to watch for this glass. Now on the top, you get the standard lane assist. This is the uh, light and rain sensors. The nozzles are here, not on the wiper still. There's no big changes. I believe you can get in the future, maybe heads up display, have a big speaker here and um, AC. So let's check. So this is the 2.0 diesel, 250 horsepower, seven speed DSG automatic. You can get a six speed manual in the life package here in Croatia, but you can get it in the style package. And we're gonna talk about later about the about the engines. So this is the deep barrel black effect and solo black interior. You have IQ LED matrix lights, um, 18 inch alloy wheels, park side assist plus with a rear traffic warning, travel assist, um, stuff like that. A little bit of winter package and uh, keyless keys, emergency assist, stuff like that. This is the price I'm gonna type it in euros. So 25% uh, tax in Croatia plus CO2 tax. A uh, really nice detail on the bit pillar. You have the Volkswagen uh, carved into the glassy thing. This is the interior when it's turned off. We're gonna jump inside real quick just to show you the car from this side. So really, really elegant and beautiful. Look at this LED lights. They look so powerful, especially uh, in this black color, I must say. This is a nice sports stance on the road. If I turn on the LED lights, you can see that the dynamic turn uh, signals or the blinkers and really beautiful inside you have the IQ light, really high quality made on the life package. It's a little bit different. There are some lights here. I'm gonna turn on the fogs later and you have the LEDs on the bottom, of course. And the real exhaust is on the bottom, not sure if you can see it. I have to come a little bit closer. So it's over there. And you get this chrome detail that this, I, I, see, I agree, it looks like a vent, but it's not really a vent because there's no hole inside. So I guess that's a little bit better. And on the back, we only have no golf, no engine. So this is the sticker from the dealer. That's not an engine sticker. And you get uh, rear parking sensors, of course. Now, you can still press the sign or you can hold the physical button. I guess it just unlocks it. I thought it would pop up. So if you press here, you can still pull it up. And voila, you get the same trunk space as before. If I'm not mistaken, 380 liters of space. It's almost flat bottom, so there's like three fingers of height. There is one LED light on the side here. You have a 12 watt uh, charger. You have a little grocery hooks on both sides. You have this. I'm gonna explain what that does in a moment. A little extra space on the both sides. The other points, uh, if you wanna put a net. The seats knock down 60, 40 with a middle uh, hole for the long objects, maybe skis or something else. Now you can put this up and watch over here. It cl closes like that. Still you have the LED light shining in and you have a spare wheel with smaller dimensions. So not, it's not a full size wheel. It's just a smaller dimension, but still Volkswagen decided to not uh, cut savings like on the seven and put a spare tire back inside, I guess. So, um, so this is the flat. If you knock down the seats, uh, this is going to be flat. If you want more space, you can put it like that. And then you have even 
deeper storage inside. On the top, you have a triangle space and you can pull on both sides to close. And that's pretty much it from the trunk space. On the top, you have a extended spoiler with this closing for better aerodynamics. Beautiful design on the stoplight. It's just the design is absolutely outstanding. A uh, little different shark fin. Now it's that good closing Volkswagen door sound. Excellent quality. The seals are also as well the exterior seal, and then you get the interior seal as well. I'm gonna see that on the road if it's really good, but so far it sounds good. Now on the back. We have some cloth seats, so cloth interior. We have chrome handles, ambient lights. Even over here, an ambient lights. Look at this, this is beautiful. It's pretty standard. It's standard now and in both life and style package. Little chrome details for the power windows, but this is all hard plastic on the back. It's nice, you get carpeting in here, but I wish this was soft plastic, like on the front. No aluminum doorstep. Maybe that could have been an option in a style. The seats are nicely designed and are ergonomic. If you look at them, they go inside. They go uh, inside on the bottom as well. You have child um, locks here. So this time it's connected. You just pop them out like that and you don't lose them. So that's nice. That's thoughtful. And inside it's cloth. But on the middle, it's something like Alcantara or satin finish. I like that and I like this design. It's really nice. The seats are soft and comfy. Now, if you wanna pull down, you can do it like that. You can press the, the here to put the headrest inside. And then you can see that space. It could be flat as mentioned. So it should be starting here. Or if you put it on the bottom, more space, it's like this. Of course, you have the middle armrest, and then you can unlock here a space if you need that. This is how it all looks. And this is pretty much the same. Uh, if you lock it, you just pull it here. Watch your seatbelt so it doesn't get locked behind. Uh, seatbelts are pretty much the same black. So let's jump inside. Now, I was in the front and seats when you exit the car does back up so you have uh it's easier for you to back up so the seat would go a little bit forward and i'll have definitely plenty of knee space now i am touching but inside there's plenty of space closing sound good and it just feels good in the car i must say everything looks quality made although it's cloth i would always choose leather seats with alcantara that's just my personal choice big tunnel in the middle so i wouldn't actually fit a fifth person although this is really comfy you have optional free climate free zone climate control so you can have here and on the bottom not sure if you can see that but if i turn this you can see two usb-c chargers on the bottom so that's pretty neat you have also another anchor here for a child seat you have pockets and then you have two pockets maybe for your uh, smartphones or similar and then on the top you have LED lights. If you press them, they turn off. Look at this. It's a touch sensitive. I'm not sure how they did this, but it's really cool. So I must say, you know, Volkswagen is stepping up their game because their competitor is in the same group, the Skoda Octavia. So it's a big competition here in the group and they both need to step up their game. So you can see, this is interesting. This gap here used to be more connected, but doesn't matter and then cloth again the ambient lights can be customizable multiple colors i'm going to show you that in the infotainment so it's pretty nice this is the cockpit from the front look so let's jump on the front of course uh, headrests are adaptable it's pretty much the same here uh, this is adaptable you can put it up or down so it locks itself and on the top little uh, hooks so Let's get on the front. Also cool now in all door handles, you have this LED lights. 
So at night, it's beautiful. And again, uh, this projected light from the side mirror. And now you have a hole here for the physical key. This is because you used to have a divided plastic here you're supposed to remove if you really needed to open, uh, use the physical uh, key. So that's not an option anymore. Over here, I think maybe, yeah, you can lock the car as you see if you have uh, in your pocket or you can unlock it. It's just on the front door handle, not on the back one. Now, if we open up, same materials on the front, just this is soft. So I wish it was soft on the back, but there's a little saving. Uh, lock, unlock button, pretty classic here. Uh, all power windows, little chrome details. You can lock the rear windows. I wish it was maybe separated for either side, like an Audi or Skoda Octavia for now. Um, you have folded uh, and heated mirrors. And when you put reverse, the uh, right mirror dips down. So that's cool. Now in this model, we have the Ergo Comfort seats. So we have memory seats here for two position, two drivers. And we have here, so when you press this, it either turns on or off the lumbar support. So if you just keep pressing it, it could be sort of as a massage seat, but it's really not. This is for the lumbar. This is obviously for up, I mean, forward and backwards. And then the tilt. And this is the automatic. This one doesn't have the sport paddles, but the seats, again, I believe these are the same seats as in the style. I mean, uh, excuse me, in the life package, but they are profiled. So we have this side bolsters that are pretty, pretty tall. And you have on the driver's seat, this extension for the knees. I wish it was standard on the other seat, but it's not. So there's a little detail uh, there. Um, the seats do feel comfy. I'm gonna see later when I do a test drive how actually comfort they are on the longer drive. Now, this locks it, the air vent, this opens it, and then you just go up and down and left and right. And now, this is the new switch for the lights but um, I'm gonna sit down in, so I'm gonna show you that. This standard, you can lock it, push it inside, outside, up and down, adjust. So let's sit and see how it looks. So I'm just put, put the key in my pocket, you can see here. I wish they cover this maybe with a plastic or something. And this is interesting pattern, although it's just hard plastic. Uh, all the way here is a little bit more stiffer plastic, more quality made. Closing sound, good, although the window is down. You do have a blind spot here in the mirror itself, it's physical. And this is the look, now the new dash. Now I'm gonna switch to wide camera, I mean wide lens. So you can see the new dash focusing back on. This is the new steering wheel, so so you feel shaking to adjust my uh, tripod so a new steering wheel a little bit flat bottom everything else is round uh, new logo i'm gonna turn off this leds if i can i'm just gonna actually press here turn them all off so you can see the steering wheel uh, nice soft leather black stitching inside and you have infotainment i'm gonna show you that uh, controls view uh, this is for the station Voice controls, you can have, I think, here or here a hit. It's heating steering wheel option. And then you have speed limiter, cruise control. This is for the distance, reset, set, and your volume buttons. Of course, we have, since this is automatic, um, sport paddles with the texture, but they're on change. So if you press here plus, it goes off and switches to the uh, automatic. And this is your light control. I guess over here you can push it either front or forward for the assist. And then of course standard uh, wiper controls on uh, the right lever. So this is the front, the screens come on. Now before I switch to the infotainment, it's just gonna show you the dash on the top speaker, uh, one on the A pillar on the bottom as well. and. This air vent is connected like on the Passat, so you have here and you have two air vents on the bottom because screen is shifted up, so your eyes are closer to the road. Although it could have been a little bit higher, but 
this is also fine and then the only physical buttons you have are actually is one button and that's the hazard button so and as you can see here you can see physical uh, lights uh, warning this is because the keys uh, was outside and you know uh, that's that's the difference so this is the only button these are capacity sense sensible um, sensors so we're gonna show you that in a moment you can turn on here volume controls and then uh, AC controls as you can see there if we open the glove compartment it is just plastic it's hard plastic but no carpeting anymore uh, no AC inside there is a light but there is no AC so that's a difference the seats are comfortable let me just show you so I have plenty of space on the back I had plenty of space for my knees and I was touching with my head two meters tall 6.6 .6. sorry I forgot to show it on the back but you'll have to trust me on that one so now on the bottom you have a rubber mat so I'm just gonna press the start stop button here and before I do that just to show you start stop engine parking button this is the automatic lever I love this electronic parking brake auto hold but let's press this so it turns on white you get the ambient light here and as you can see there is a rubber mat for your phone for wireless charging you have two USB-C chargers everything turns on you can customize this color and with your ambient lights uh, the rest of the buttons are white illuminated except this and just to show you here so you have that uh, light as I have mentioned you have lights on both uh, front and rear doors on the bottom one color so you can have dual colors one on the top here one in the dash this is beautiful a kind of dark you can have this light in the uh, in different packages in the uh, life so it's really nice there's not much difference uh, in the interior quality besides some colors uh, this is the back look back uh, this is dark it's although not black it's just like a dark gray maybe just um, actually it's not probably because of it's there's no sun here but it seems like that way it's light actually on the top still privacy uh, mirror led lights it's kind of uh, dim and you can push this uh it doesn't extend unfortunately if they should think well about Volkswagen should have done that they did add that in the Passat you can see you can see a review of that car fully loaded R line if you want just find it on my channel uh, lights that you can press again excellent I must say I love that feature uh, you can call here for the service I don't have some sort of information uh, you can press here just to turn the light as well actually both lights uh, you, you can press here so when you open the doors that the lights don't turn on uh, or you can just have them on there is like a small LED there and then there's the emergency call I'm not gonna press that but um, no glasses compartment anymore and this is bigger because of the camera for the lane assist mirror it's nice it has a thin almost a thin black basil which maybe it was a basil less but it's just my taste and I think I've mostly covered everything I wanted to show you the light switches so uh, when you come closer they illuminate brighter as you can see and then you here have uh, mode if you press you can see it like this it's lights on you can put the uh, position lights you can turn off the lights or you can turn it on the automatic let me see again so lights are on off position so it, it tells you on the screen it tells you over here so this is automatic uh, you have the rear blow here for the climate actually this is a rear heater excuse me this is your front blow maximum blow and then you have front fog lights oops sorry you have the front fog lights which i believe are integrated in the main light and then you have the rear they're all led so uh, i'm gonna turn off the lights this is auto off okay off whoops this is by mistake so this this can happen in the future i'm sure when you get used to the car maybe less but it can happen a few few first times okay so let's cover the digital uh cockpit and to press it 
you know, so the car was on. You get the, uh, in this car, you have the uh, blind spot warning as well. So uh, this is in Croatian. So let me just check here. Uh, sorry, I forgot to switch to the, to the, the language to, so I apologize back to the screen, to the digital cockpit. I'm just gonna show it like this. So you can see both the this uh, controls and the screen. The screen is sharp uh, graphics, uh, even from the eye distance, it's just sharp. So, um, this are the two main buttons. So if you press this one, you select this one. If you if you press the other one, you select the other one. So inside of this bubbles, uh, both bubbles, you can customize. So if I press this one, you have here acceleration, acceleration, uh, compass, destination info, uh, speed, telephone, audio, navigation, average speed, driving time, distance, no display, or you can go to settings and then add stuff you want. All this deselected stuff are on the other side selected. So you can go to close, you know, or you can go to settings. That's it. So if you go to the other one, you still control it with this side and you can have, uh, let me come from the beginning. So you can have it oil temperature assists, add blue fuel range, uh, gear indicator, average consumption, consumption, no display, or go to the settings and play with that. So um, yeah, so I left it like this and maybe um, acceleration. Now on the middle between, uh, you can press, let me just see, up or down. So you can have uh, speed, you can have road signs, you can have uh, date and time, or you can have nothing, or you can have driver data, uh, since refueling, stuff like that. On the bottom, there is lane assist, you can put it there. And now we have views, so you can have like this. So you have, I guess, this is the uh, range and stuff like that. Speed is bottom. Uh, and just changes so you have uh, really large maps if you want to and then you have this digital or just the classic I do prefer the pla classic in my it's just my taste and uh, of course volumes this is for the pages so for the radio uh, you know what what radio you want it shows on the top uh, so let me I'm trying to find a station to that I think has music I like to show um, let me see here. See, I wish they had a roller. The Skoda Audi has that, but Volkswagen just didn't want to add that for some reason. Okay, I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not gonna turn on the radio because um, I'm gonna do that later. Let's come back and focus to the main screen here. So on the bottom, you have shortcuts, and if you press here, uh, climate control. Uh, I'm going to, you can turn to the rear or you can, on the front, you can have both and then you can synchronize. You have heated seats here, you just press a few times. There is a shortcut here, but if you're outside of this, it's just gonna bring the air condition on. So, now you have smart climate controls. These are extra options I didn't, didn't see the in the life package. And this is the classic, let me just mute the sound. So, um, air care, so this is the windows are open, it filtrates the uh, dust and stuff like that. So you can have here control the blow. So there's no more controls for that, uh, physical controls. You can turn on the AC here, turn off, you can turn on the recirculation on or off, which um, side you want to blow and then uh, automatic low or hazardous warning current strict okay doesn't matter and then you can hear uh, you know have high medium or um, low blow depending on the automatic settings uh, the smart climate you have uh, defog windows warning your feet or cooling uh, and warming hand I'm not sure if this is supposed to be on the steering wheel. I think there was a physical button, so, and fresh air. Uh, well, the engine needs to be on for this uh, features. So this is the climate control, and here we have automatic air recirculation, supply heater, heated seats. Um, now, 
I'm gonna turn off the AC so it's off now so we don't have the blow I'm gonna close the window you can hear a lot less now I'm gonna keep it a little bit because there's people inside talking so we don't have that noise actually turn off the AC and you have here a menu for the parking so it's the car and the uh, you know this wave signals and then over here you can uh, have rear traffic alert uh, maneuvering brake parking distance settings uh, for the volumes stuff like that it's a shortcut and uh, but uh, on over here you have also assist now it's pretty standard you have sign recognition traffic signs speed limits car in front of you lane uh, yeah, brake and this car has optional rear traffic you can press it here it's a shortcut so you show here all the functionalities um, so like this you can have here it's just it's active uh, adaptive cruise control lane assist uh, and and you have here options steering wheel vibration or just without um, whatever you prefer uh, and and stuff like that so if now this is I, over here i think it's the driving mode if you get that so this car doesn't have that this is sort of a home menu so you have phone radio media navigation vehicle app connect so app connect android auto apple carplay and mirror link you can have here uh, mirror link information uh, devices and this is like a home button in 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 um and you have always clock here now this uh, this is like the messages you have so if you drag from the top the menu here you have some information uh, you can delete all of that or you can move here and this is like your shortcut so sorry if I'm skipping this guy is like this is private this is settings you want to share with I guess Volkswagen because the car is connected always and over here you can show all information and then some apps app store works and stuff like that over here you can control uh, auto system start stop deactivated audio on or off uh, you can drive to home navigation announcements you can control the brightness of the screen and you have a dark mode which is on or you can choose the bright mode so this is very bright uh, that's why i'm going to leave it to dark in this case um, and then you hear the avatar changes so uh, the shop well the engine needs to be turned on this is still in croatian i thought it changed so at least some stuff um assistance here it's the same um users you can have multiple users uh you can be a guest you can have yourself and then personalize stuff you want i guess um and i'm not gonna go into that if you get the car you can get that sound you have here so ba base um uh, uh, mid dribble stuff like that you can just reset it here you can focus it on uh the driver any other part or recenter here uh you can play with the volume settings here and here are the settings you can have the buttons in the, for the touch screen so you get this clicky sound if you like it you can turn it off and uh these are the navigation it's the new navigation and you know it's it's nice you can type in here what you want uh, and this is really nice graphics uh, sharp screen responsive it, it it's really responsive so you can pinch to zoom in and out and um, radio media you can use the these are the dab digital radio and you have here media so you can have Bluetooth uh, you can connect your phone or um, let me see source my media or Bluetooth, so yeah, I think um, you can connect your phone. Uh, settings here, radio, so um, you know, radio text, state stuff like that. Um, okay, let's see a radio here. So these are uh, internet radio on the digital. So let me see here what I want to do. Um, enter Zagreb. This is for young people music so you can control here the volume you just slide it to cancel it and it always there's a shortcut for the all this sound options 
the bass is good, the speakers are good. I believe you know, the bass speakers are decent, so, you know, but if you have money, if, uh, money's not a problem, always I would uh, advise to go for the upgraded speakers. And uh, background lights. So, in this car you have, in the life you have this options, in this one you have like three tones, two tones, uh, more on the top, less on the bottom, or like this. And then you can control here what colors you want, and it changes the screen colors as well. Uh, or you can change this, and this uh, changes, as you can see, on the bottom. Uh, so that that light and this light, and I don't know, this is kind of cost, uh, customization that I've, I've made. So you can you can do a individual. You can turn everything off, and then you just get this blue menu. Um, and all the lights are off. If they're distracting for you, you can have this uh, yellow warm. You can have this red, um, bluish, more relaxing, and um, orange. If you want to drive, if you don't want to speed on, you just turn this on. It's always relaxing. Blue color is a relaxation color. You can have it like this. This is kind of more sportish. Um, but yeah. So. Um, you can control the brightness here, so you can uh, dim this or make it really pop up, uh, whatever you prefer. And there are hand gestures, so let me just see again. So yeah, you have, it's somewhere here is the sensor, I believe. So uh, before I get to explain those menus, here you have vehicle, and then you have status of the car, nice avatar, start, stop, tire pressure, service. Uh, fuel things low. Uh, driving data, so you have since start, uh, long term, and since refueling. Uh, the car is really stationary, just being parked here, so the, that's why this information is high. And then you have here exterior mirrors, headlights, tires, comfort. You can customize stuff like that. Interior cockpit, um, what do you want to see? Interior lights, more dark, or uh, that's the illumination. And you have the seats, uh, driver's seat, and um, let me see cockpits. So you know, uh, there's 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 a lot of options here, and there's like uh, the brakes. So windows, central locking, uh, wipers, service position, everything you need is here. And then that's pretty much it. Press it. If you slide it here, you won't get that. And then you have here legal information and help like a wizard for the setup. And that's it. On the bottom, uh, the screen is really sharp. Uh, even from the, you know, from the eye distance, it's just nice. This is like a, if you have shortcuts, vehicle, phone, uh, radio, and then you have navigation. Uh, and then if you want, you can have your mobile phone here, since start information, users, apps, and stuff like that. I think we've covered everything. So again... You can just slide it here to mute or you can press here or here for up and down volume and then this is for the ac it's, it's telling it's off but if you press here i guess see now it's like how do you turn it on oh i have to press it on the top so and then you can always play here if you're in the menu just it works or maybe let me see Volkswagen, I'm, I'm. Pardon. You can use voice control to operate the radio and media navigation system. Okay, let's see. I'm cold. No problem. It will get warmer at the front left shortly. See, it's registering that I'm sitting here and it turned <laughs> warming on my side. So um, it's easy you really don't need to turn you don't really need to use that if you press here you can turn off the screen i have just a clocks depending on the color it's going to be so you have two classic three classic car and one digital and that's it so i'm just going to turn on you always have the shortcuts i'm going to turn it off not to kill the battery but actually really nice beautiful um interior and i almost forgot to say this but start stop park and then you have this smart smart uh, short 
uh, lever that is electronic. It's not connected by wire anymore. So this is nice. This is all free. There is no more lever here. Have more space. I personally love this. And then you have a little storage area here. And then on the bottom, you have a lot of illumination for the cup holders. You can press here to add, to grip it. We have the 12 watt socket here. And uh, there's no shutter. I wish that was an option, but everything else is nice. Armrest extends, it has levels. It's not that big anymore. There is a um, rubber on the bottom mat and it has this for the cables so you don't squ uh, squash your cables because you need to still, I think, use cables for the Apple. Maybe it might be um, a wireless now. Actually, it's just, it says it's a uh, via buttons, so. And that's it. Uh, I hope you like this review. So I'm gonna jump on the back just to show you once more uh, the space I have. Uh, when you exit, you can see the seat backed up. So I'm just gonna show you once more. I mean, it went a little bit back, but if I go on the back, so if I want to read straight up, this is a space I'm missing a little bit. But if I go like down like this, if I'm an average person, I should have enough space. So that's it. There's a lot of customers around the car. So um, I'm going to back up not to get them in the frame. But definitely, I love the new Golf. There's going to be a, a different video for the for the uh, life package. So if you wanna see that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. Okay, so the customers are gone. We're gonna pop the hood just to show you the engine bay. So I was talking about the engines. Now uh, on the style package, you can get either a two options with a TSI or a TDI. So uh, there's no dampener anymore. I'm not sure why they removed that. Uh, this is the new looks. There's the new plastic on the top for a cylinder. And um, it's pretty much else is pretty much simple. It still opens the same way. Just drop it, it closes perfectly. So you get a 2.0 engines. There's no more 1.6 anymore. So you get a 100. Um, I might be mistaken now. You get 115 or 110 horsepower on the diesel. And then you get the 150 as the strongest version. On the petrol, you get, I think, 110 is the, like the base. And then you get 130. And you get the 150. On the lower horsepower, you get the six bit manual standard. You can get on the ETSI, it's the mild hybrid technology. You can get only with a seven speed automatic. And on the diesel, you can get either a six-speed manual in the life package. On the style package, you get only the automatic seven-speed TSG. So this is in Croatia. I'm not saying it might be different in Germany or uh, any other country you're in. So um, the price, I'll have to check my phone. So yes, for the life, 22 to 29, depending on the engine. And then from 25 to 31 for the style. This is just Croatian prices. So that's it. Tell me in the comments. Really, I like to hear your opinions. What do you think about the new Golf? I really love it. It's excellent car. It looks awesome, especially especially in the uh, style package. Uh, the life package offers a lot, so I'm gonna do that uh, as well. So check it out. Uh, it's just better. So there's no more entry package that usually no one bought, and these two packages, the life and style, are more equipped get more for the price the price went up a little bit but you get more definitely so get that value for money from Volkswagen like you should you should be yes so um, anyway until next video I'm gonna see you uh, next week there's gonna be point of view so stay tuned for that and until that uh, stay safe on the road as always I'm gonna see you in the next video bye